Creating a basic map in the Hammer Editor is incredibly easy. First thing you want to do is you want to go to File, click New. Oh, wait, no. File, click New, and delete the existing object if there is one. Uh, depending on what version of Hammer you're using, there might not be one. Next, what you want to do is you want to go over to the side here, click Browse, and pick a uh, texture you want. I'm going to pick a concrete texture. Uh, this looks good. Alright, okay. Then you want to get the block tool over here, and this will allow you to create objects in the game. So I'm going to create a small room. Like so. And now, if you go to the 3D view and click Z, you can look around and you can move around with WS and D. And now that you've uh, selected this, it's created an outline. Click Enter, and there you go, you've just created a block. And now, what you could do is you could you could copy and paste all these and make a room that way, but it is a lot easier and a lot more efficient to do it in a, uh, another way. So, click X in the 3D view while you have the selection tool enabled, and you can scale objects. We'll scale this up a bit. And now, if you want to make a block hollow, make a room, go to tools, click make hollow, and then pick the thickness, I'm going to keep it the default of 32. Now from here, you can put whatever you want in the room. So I'm just going to move the room up just a bit, like that. So we want our player to actually be able to spawn in it, and, you know, run around. So, we're going to get the entity tool, and then we're going to go over to the 3D view and click on the center of the map. Now by default, this is a player spawn. So now in the top view, I'm going to go over here and bring it up off of the ground just a bit. Otherwise, it could have issues with uh, running the map. So we've just created a very basic map. Now to run it in game, we have to compile it. So we'll go to uh, File, Run Map. Actually, first you have to say that I'm just going to call this YouTube Test. And then you can compile it. So I want to click uh, Default Compile. If you're playing around with lighting, HDR4 compiler is recommended. And if you want to test that map really quickly, fast, it's recommended. But default is what we're going to be using since we don't have any lights in our scene. So, from here, just click go. Make sure to disable uh, game underscore exe. It might look like this. If I were you, I would recommend clicking export. But yeah. So, make sure game underscore exe is disabled so it won't launch the game when you finish compiling. Uh, so, yeah, after this, click go. And should start compiling. It'll take a couple of seconds because it's a very basic map. And from this you want to open up the game and I'll tell you what to do next. So now that you've got the game open, make sure that in options, you've got go to advanced and then go to enable developer console, make sure it's enabled. Click apply, click OK, and then click the button underneath escape up next to one and above tab. And it should open up the developer console. From here type in map and then the name of your map might say such as YouTube test. And the map should start loading, and I will see you when it's loaded. And now this is what the map looks like. It's very basic, very boring. But in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to make uh, indoor lighting. I've already made a video covering outdoor lighting, but that won't really apply to indoor rooms. And if I want to continue this beginner tutorial series, I'm pretty much going to have to make a lighting tutorial for indoor lighting. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.